It's hard to imagine an Australia without koalas, but right around the country, this most iconic of Australian wildlife species is really struggling. Koalas are an absolute highlight of anybody's trip to the Great Ocean Road. But here at Cape Otway, visitors are often confronted by this sad and, and sometimes very shocking landscape of dead and dying trees. What used to be healthy Managum woodlands full of wildflowers and wildlife is now quite like a moonscape. What's particularly devastating is to know that the koalas are contributing to that situation, quite literally eating themselves out of house and home. As the woodlands decline, it's not only the koalas who are suffering, but also the other plants and animals who call this habitat home. Our coastal woodlands are in crisis and urgent action is needed to protect them. Over the last five years, we've been partnering with the Country Fire Authority, uh, local land care, the Department of Environment, Land, Water and Planning to help the koalas out of this dire situation. The Big Otway Tree Plant is an annual event we've now held for the last five years. With community engagement and community volunteers, we've now planted 100,000 trees over 100 hectares to restore uh, woodlands on Cape Otway. As part of our revegetation program, we've been planting managums, which have declined quite drastically, as well as messmates, casuarina and blackwood, and these are going to become the woodlands of the future for us. Through the Big Otway Tree Plant, the community has been really engaged in our restoration project, and we wouldn't have been able to achieve these results without them. We're also using fire to help restore the landscape. So since 2013, we've been working with the Country Fire Authority um, to bring about this mosaic burning program on Cape Otway. And we've had wonderful uh, results across the area, about 70 hectares we've burnt now. As a result of our burns program, we're seeing species diversity increase in some areas, which is wonderful. And we're also opening up the, the woodland habitat again, which is what we're really aiming to do. We're really excited about welcoming uh, Eastern Ma people back to um, Cape Otway to be a part of, of our Burns program and hopefully to contribute some traditional knowledge to our, our fire program. Over the past seven years we've been working with community volunteers to monitor population trends on Cape Otway in the koalas and also in their favourite food species. And we've been seeing recently a return in koala numbers to what we hope is a, a more sustainable level and an improvement in their favourite food sources, the managum. And hopefully that means we're seeing a, a, a return to something that's uh, more positive for koalas here at Cape Otway. We have a vision for an even brighter future for Cape Otway's koalas. While this land is currently extremely degraded, it once supported magnificent managum woodlands and a whole range of threatened and endangered species. Things like the leafy greenhood orchid, the long-nosed potteroo, the eastern pygmy possum, the white-footed dunnart, they all used to inhabit this beautiful area. To get involved, visit www.conservationecologycentre.org.